The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and bring you peace. We're talking about The Chosen and then, of course, Brandon Lake. Oh, what a day. How are you guys? It's good. We're excited, Doing too. Awesome. We're, we're like we're like mutual fanboys, too. So this is this is a great opportunity. Big romance us. happening yes. over here. I'm sure. So, OK, so personal story for me, Brandon, it was actually the Christmas Chosen special, the first one where I'm watching it and I see you pop up. I see, I see you sing that song, Gratitude, and I'm going, who is this guy? Wait a minute. <laughs> And it's such, I love that you guys are, are together talking about this because I think what your music does, Brandon, and what The Chosen has done yeah. is it just paints a different picture of maybe what Christian artists are supposed to look like, what they're supposed to sound like. Um, the Chosen, as far as what Jesus, you know, <laughs> what he's supposed to look like. Right, right. So, Brandon, I want to hear your journey with The Chosen and when you started watching, because it seems like you're all on board now. You got a new song, too. Yeah. Yes. We're, we're doing lots together. Okay. So my journey started actually, um, it, before I got an invitation to do anything with the chosen, it had already changed my life and impacted me in a huge way. I remember, uh, season one, episode one, I'm hearing all these people talk about the chosen, you know, I'm like, all right, we're going to finally, you know, check it out. So me and my wife are, you know, turning in for the night, we're like, let's watch this episode real quick. And at the end of the episode is when Jesus appears, he steps onto the scene and then the episode ends and it was as if Jesus walked into my room and the presence of God filled my room. I mean, it's one of the top holiest moments I've ever experienced in my life and literally was speechless for probably about 10 minutes. And uh, Dallas probably came, came back on, you know, it was on YouTube at the time. And you're, you go back into talking and I, I don't even think I remember you talking. It was me and my wife did not say a word as it felt like a down comforter, a heavy down comforter of the glory of God was just resting on us. And so it impacted my life in a huge way. And it brought the Bible from black and white into full picture, full color. And so then I got this invitation to come sing a song for the Christmas special. And so I replied, I don't have a Christmas song ready. <laughs> and so Dallas is like, I'd, I'd like for you to do gratitude. And so I'm like, okay, um, sure. You know, uh, I like that song. Cute little song. Been Cute out, little song. Been out yeah. for a year or two. Yeah. Been out for a little while. But like, sure, you know, that'll be nice. So we do it. And then the Christmas special comes out and uh, only God knew that uh, how he would use this song. And so this gratitude goes to the top of the charts everywhere. So and it was now, because of the chosen. I kind of assumed that, what you know, that was kind of the beginning of the launch pad for you. Yeah, it was. Um, I had, had some stuff come out before and that's uh, like Grays in the Gardens is kind of how you got to know me at first. Yeah. But then Gratitude was kind of like my first not collaborative song, like my first artist song that really skyrocketed and um, is why I'm now able to, to tour and sing that song um, all across the country. And, and it's been really, really incredible to watch that thing go from what I thought was just another track on my record to my number one song. Yeah. Well, I remember Dallas when I came out there after I guess it was for season three. And one of my questions that I got to I was like, we need more, we need more collaborations with the music artists because yeah. you know, I've talked with Kane, I've talked with um Big Daddy Weave. I mean, there's so many people in this um in this kind of arena that the chosen has really helped change how they sing, how they write music. Mm -hmm. It's not even just people that are watching at home like myself. Yeah, and that's huge because 
I, I always say, you know, when we're in heaven, we're not going to be watching TV shows. We're going to be worshiping. Worship is the end game. This show helps you know and love Jesus more. What do you do when you want when you know and love Jesus more? You worship. Come on. So we've got this, like when I run into Brandon or Phil Wickham or Kane or some of these, it, it becomes this mutual session where yeah. I'm saying, your songs helped me write. It helped the show get better. And they're yeah. like, what a coincidence. Your show helped the, my, my worship uh, writing get better. Uh, and, and I think that's how God works sometimes. And it's been a beautiful collaboration. And uh, like you said, when you when you were first watching Christmas with the Chosen and his song came on, there were literally hundreds of thousands of people who had that same experience. And I felt like that's one of the reasons why I suggested the song. It wasn't a Christmas song, but I'm like, this blessed my family. Mm. Huge. And we have a pretty good eye for 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 that. And I'm like, this is going to bless others in a huge way. And uh, and so when, when I when I hear his story of how when he first saw episode one, it's similar to my story of when I first heard him doing gratitude or graves in the gardens. It's like, all right, let's keep doing that. Why yeah, stop right. now? Like, let's right. just keep building on that and uh, watch God multiply it. So, and I, I love that we have this Christmas special because I didn't, you know, I wasn't sure if we were going to get one, but it holds us over till season four. How's that coming <laughs> along, Dallas? Yeah, it takes longer to make the show than it does to watch it. So I do tell people, like, <laughs> you watch eight episodes in eight hours, like, it took a little longer than that to make it. So yeah, just right. give me a little patience, but here's a Christmas special for you. And the thing is, this Christmas special, we've done a couple before, and this is kind of the quote-unquote greatest hits of those first two. The things that most impacted people were bringing them back. Uh, we're taking the shepherd and the messengers, and we're, we're like, inter interweaving them into one cohesive story, which blew us away when we first saw it. Uh, we've got Andrea Bocelli singing Oh Holy Night you know, from Italy, uh, it, uh, overwhelming. And so it's, it's, it's the old, old story told anew, but it's also got some fresh stuff in it as well. And, uh, and so, yeah, this will tide you over. I promise you, you got to see it on the big screen with the surround sound. It's going to be in theaters December 12th through the 17th. And, uh, it's, it's, it feels like, uh, it's like beautiful and new, but also nostalgic. Yeah. Cause like, it's the birth of the chosen. It's the birth of gratitude in many ways. It's like, yeah. this is, this is going to be a special time. Yeah. I'm so excited for 2024. Um, Brandon, let's also real quick talk about your tour coming up. I had a chance to see you with Phil Wickham here in Tampa. Oh, uh, which, and you talk about that was a powerful night. And and then I just hear you're partnering with Louis Giglio, one of my heroes, one of my spiritual heroes yeah. for passion. Love him. Um, you know, and and I kind of feel old because I want to be there, but I'm not in that college space anymore. Well yeah. beyond it. <laughs> Right, right. I'm a mom with three kids, but I don't know. I just want to be where the presence of Jesus is going to be. And yeah. I know he's going to be there night and at these concerts. It's yeah. amazing. I know you must go into these um, looking forward to 2024, expecting God to show up. Yeah, like never before, I'm expecting God to show up in 2024. Uh, this, The Chosen really even inspired this song and probably even subconscious ways where like, feeding off of each other. I write this song called Tear Off the Roof. And I'm like, man, you know, Dallas, can we team up and do a music video that shows, um, you know, Mark 2, I think Luke 8, where, yeah. you know, you've got them lowering uh, the cripple through the roof and they get them to Jesus because it's, you know, it's so crowded. And so they, they go through the roof willing to do anything you know to get him in the presence of God he gets healed and then you've got the woman with the blood issue that's verse two of my song and so we did this music video where it weaves in and out of the music video and clips from the chosen and it just ministered to me so much my kids love it and I love that it's educational so we're having a meeting about 2024 and I'm ready we're, we're excited to, to do my biggest tour yet and I jump on the call and I knew immediately, even though my record's called Code of Many Colors, there's a song called Tear Off the Roof. And I was like, that's what I want to do. Yeah. I want to go to Orlando. I want to go to Toronto. I want to go to all these different cities that we're coming to, Tampa or wherever we're going. We want to tear off the roof with worship. And I've been encouraging people, who do you need to tear off the roof for? Who do you uh -huh. need to get into the presence of God? Because somebody tore off the roof for you, I bet. Yeah. And so now it's our responsibility. And that's what the chosen does. It's 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 in such a brilliant way. Many people wouldn't give church a try, but they, maybe they would watch a show, mm -hmm. you know. And so it's tearing off the roof for people and getting creative to get them in the presence of God. And so I'm excited about this tour. December 1st is when tickets go on sale and uh, we're going to fill some arenas um, for Jesus. 
I can't wait. Well, guys, job well done. I'm so excited again. I think um, there's just so much ahead, so much to look forward to. And I really look forward to hopefully talking um, again, because again, this is just the start of something. I felt like in 2023, you know, revival started to begin. Yeah. And I think we um, need to, to pray for more of it and expect more of it. And I think because of the work that you guys are doing, I think uh, we're going to see that. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thanks thank a lot. You so thank much. you. People must know. People must know.